Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in this video we are going to learn how PIM teammate approval request is configured. So uh, in my previous video, guys, we learned how administrator can approve the PIM request and also self approval and here now in this video we will learn how teammate can approve your uh, request so as a part of this video we have five tasks to complete in task one we will see how an eligible group is configured for into an admin role then we will configure the into an administrator role to require the approval then we will submit a request for into an admin role and uh, in task 4 we will approve the request and in task 5 we will verify our configurations so Let's jump to our lab environment. So first of all, make sure that you have logged in as your uh, global admin and you are on the Microsoft 365 admin center. So and or uh, your uh, entra dot admin center is uh, open. So. Once you log into Entra Admin Center or Microsoft Entra Admin Center, first of all, you have to create a group. So to create a group, we expand identity and here you see this all group. So we are going to create a group first. And our group type is uh, security and group name is uh, IPAM administrator. So, uh, PIM uh, Intune Administrator and uh, specify uh, descriptions if you want and make sure that uh, as your AD role can be assigned to the group yes and uh, <laughs> currently there is no owner assigned so click on the no owner selected and uh, look for Holly Dixon so we have selected the user now select the member as well so in the member we are going to select our previous uh, user as same user as we have added in our um, help desk admin group so Alex and uh, Johnny so two users we have selected and then say create say yes so we we have created our group now our user has been created so expand identity govern, uh, governance and here you have privilege identity management in the privilege uh, now you see this we have azure ad role click on it and under assign you have assign as eligibility so click on this option and search for the role you want so my role is intune 
into an administrator add assignment currently you can see there is no assignment add assignment and as you can see in the membership page there is no members selected so click here to select the member so our member is in tune team in tune so as you can see privileges identity management into administrator so i selected that group and member of this group will get the approval or they can approve the request now as you can see that here in the uh, setting page eligibility is is the one which is selected by default and permanent permanent eligible now click on assign and you can see that the user is the group is now visible under the eligible assignment okay and end time permanent now is done so now move to our task number 2 so going back to my identity privilege or privilege identity management here you have as your edit role and here you have setting under the manage here you have the setting click on the setting and uh, search for the intune administrator there you go you can see that it is not configured so click on this and click on edit and uh, i don't want multi factor authentication by default it is required but i don't want so i just uncheck this one you can see this activation okay so multi factor authentication is the default setting so i just uh, i'm going with the none and uh, require approval to activate select this option so now i am required justification so administrator as a administrator or the global admin don't need uh, any justifications so because of that we are just uh, we just uncheck this one okay require approval to activate we just selected this one now let's go to the assignment and as you can see that on the assignment page mm, on the assignment page just me let me check okay uh, guys you see this approvals there is no approval selected so who will approve so we have to select that group the group which we created pim into so i'm going with that so you can see pim into select so this users will be used for the approvals or this users will approve to each other the user of this the member of this group so let's go to the assignment page
so as you can see that required justification on active assignment checkbox is selected if not you have to select it let's go back let's go to the notification so click on next and here you see this the default notification is sent to the administrator if you want you can you can modify the settings so depending on your requirement you will go so you can see that approval all these things are selected now click on update now we are going to submit a request so our part number our task number 3 so you can see that the information has been updated now before i proceed i would like to change the password of alex and johnny seven user active user close and then waiting for the password to reset yes no open the in private window and uh, log into portal.azure.com and log on as johnny seven enter the password of the user search for pim privilege identity management and here you see this my role and here you see this as your ad role into an administrator so eligible assignment and here you see this on the right hand side we have action and it is saying activate so click on the activate okay specify your reason and then say activate done now 
once it is done refresh so membership group permanent activate now we are going to see how we uh, how the other member of this group the group which we created into a uh, pim into an administrator so how other members activate the request so we are going to log on as a so first let me show you Mm. my request you can see that pending approval and another thing i want to show you if you go to the property of jani senen user identity user so assigned row now we are going to log on as uh, alex so let's go back to our in private if i click on the my request and approve request there is nothing okay there is nothing so review access there is nothing so it is pending okay now i am going to log out sign out as journey chairman another user so this time we are going to log on as uh, alex enter the user password no we are here in the if you look at this approve request down here select request for active activation so you have option so you can either approve or you can cancel so you can deny so click on approve and specify the justification so we say testing confirm 
refresh now we are going to sign out as Alex are going back to sign in as Johnny Seaman. No. Look for team service my role and as your role and let's see so If you click on, as you can see, eligible assignment, click on active assignment, refresh, and you see this status is activated. Okay, and you can deactivate. Now, let's see the letters perform our last step of this uh, lab which is verifying our notifications so mm, I'm going back to my so as you can see this I am I have logged in as Holy Dixon and we are going to open the Outlook. Outlook. And you see this Johnny Sherman. So click on. Now you see this. the details so by default administrators get these notifications so thank you guys for watching my video I hope this lecture will also help you to enhance your knowledge level and uh, guys please requesting you share my video link with your friends ask them to subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe and uh, be uh, stay updated with me i am going to upload uh, very soon i will upload video related to azure so Thank you guys, hope to see you very soon in my next video, bye bye.